to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Janet. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome to you too. And thank you so much for subscribing. So in today's video, I thought I would try the, I've seen it going around on YouTube. It's really old. Doing a full face of makeup with samples. So I have a whole bunch of samples. Now, I do have brushes that are not samples. <laughs> Just this one is. But let's see if I can actually pull this off. I don't know. I have this little mirror that I got a long time ago that I've never used. And we're gonna try it out too. I just put batteries in it. Let's see. So if you want to see if I can pull this off, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I typically do is get my hair out of my face. So let's do that. And then, okay, so my makeup wipes are not sample size. The only sample ones I had were from Sephora. And if you saw um, one of my empty videos, I think it was volume one, those things are no good. So we are not going to use those. So it is 7.16 a.m. on a Sunday. And I have been up since 4.30 because that's what I do. All right, so I'm gonna use my Lumify because my eyes are red. battery operated pretty neat all right let's let's do this sometimes I end up putting too much too much All right, next we are going to use this Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Day Face Cream. It's moisturized. You know, there's always more than one like use of these products in these little things. However, how do you like keep them Closed or from drying out. Like, this is ridiculous. How am I supposed to know if I like it if I can only use it one time because it's gonna dry out? It does have a scent. Um, what is that? It's a very familiar scent. I put way too much on my face. Oh, it's just comes out. All right, next we're gonna use this primer. Now, to be honest, I don't normally use primer. So, but we're gonna try it. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. So now then, let me tear this stuff off. All right, it's just white as well. Mm. 
Now, what I can say is this does not feel like silicone-y like some primers do. This one literally just feels like another moisturizer. That's nice though. If you use primer, like on the daily, you'd probably really like this. All right, let's... I mean, I'm not keeping this stuff because there's no way. All right, so next I would do my foundation. Now, let's look at this because we have three different ones that we could use. We have the Too Faced Peach Perfect. We have the Tarte, what is this, Amazonian Clay. And then we have the Becca Unlimited Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. You know, I've heard really good things about this one on the Too Faced. And I'm just guessing Becca is probably really well, really good too. But I think I'm going to go with the Too Faced. And I think. How? That does? Alright, why do they make these things where you're not supposed to be able to get into them?
Trevor Moore Cake Bliss Boing Game Concealer. And here are we have one, two, and four. Uh, I don't really know which shade we should go with. I think we're gonna go with two. This way. Okay, I think that is as good as it gets to. Um, I move on to uh, powder to uh, set that concealer. And I have two, I have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And then I have the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Hey, which one do you use? record so we have to do this again it's fine um so for bronzer I'm going to use the Natasha Dodone bronze and glow yeah and this is just what it looks like and I'm using the real techniques contour brush it looks just looks like this I'm gonna use a very light hand because I don't know how much product this it takes. Next, we're gonna use this NARS. It's um, the orgasm blush. I've never used this before, but we're gonna try it today. I'm using this Real Techniques, I think it's the Expert Face Brush. do my eyeshadow and I don't have any samples of eyeshadow Use the bronzer that I just used I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow and I'm just using this little brush it's a real technique yeah deluxe crease brush I love this little guy it's just it's awesome We're gonna make it work. Uh, okay. So next I would do my eyeliner. And I'm going, since I don't have like a sample eyeliner, we're gonna attempt to use Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. This is the one that I have. We're gonna attempt to use that the dark one with this brush 
that I have no clue. Oh, Mod Pro BMX 498 line. Because I'm going to use this brush again after we get done with this. Okay, so it, it worked. I'm going to take this little sucker. It's a color switch instant removes makeup from brushes. It just looks like that inside. And you just swipe it. All right, and then I'm gonna take the lighter brown and we're going to attempt to do my eyebrows. I would. I'm going to take this Becca, what is it? Champagne Pop. Then lips. Um, I do not currently wear mascara. Uh, long story as of why. So I have these three. I brought down this Opa Flex Stick in Shaken. My favorite. Uh, this is Pink Tea number 40. Um, Sephora's Cream Lip Stain. But I just realized I had this sucker and I actually like it. And they're very similar in shape. This is the Tardist and Exposed. So. <laughs> And last, so we're going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Had an idea. How do you think I did? Do you think that I was able to achieve the mission that we were trying to achieve? Um, I'm gonna wear it and see how all of they do. So if you've made it this far in this video, I want to thank you. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and take the time to do that. I would love to have you be a part of our family here. And don't forget to like this video. It's a free way 
you can help show me that you like the content. And as always, if you have any ideas that you would like to see me do for a video, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Yeah. So I'm going to let you go and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.